Learn how to make this beautiful puzzle mat. Live joyously. I love it. How many of you have done this during quarantine? Nice. How many of you have enjoyed a nice puzzle? How many of you have started a puzzle to come back to this? Seriously, dude? Seriously. Oh! This is usually my situation with any project that I do not finish. I will come back to a cat laying on it. And because of that, the necessity sparked me to explore what options I had out there to maintain my puzzle because he chews the pieces too. I found out that there's a thing called a puzzle mat where you can roll up the puzzle and save it for later. I was able to create a puzzle mat with just some things that I had around the house. You need felt or fleece material. I used felt, but fleece would work as well. You need a pool noodle, you need a sewing machine, and you know, just thread, scissors. Um, if you wanna put like a nice bias tape around the sides, you wanna have all that stuff. I used this pretty yellow felt that I had because I thought it would match the puzzle. Unfortunately, it wasn't wide enough, so the piece that you use needs to be width-wise and length-wise bigger than your puzzle. Mine's wasn't, so I thought I could just kind of sew it together and it would be okay, but you know, when you're putting together the puzzle pieces, you kind of don't want to lump in the middle, so I would definitely advise against doing that, but that's what I did for this. So I used bias tape just to make it prettier. Um, if you choose to do something like that and, and put something around the, the outside, you're only going to put it, sew it on three sides of the felt. And I'll show you why in a second here. Uh, so I'm using like a blanket bias. You can use lace or almost anything you like. Jeez, you get up for one minute. I sewed the corners on an angle that made it look really nice. Also, you have to sew the ribbon that you're using to tie. I also decided to sew a ribbon to hide the seam. The end has to be wide enough for the pool noodle. So that fourth side, you're gonna just sew it down like this, see down the line. Then you're gonna also sew the end after you're done, you'll have to sew one last end that to pull noodle in. Otherwise you'll have a hard time getting it in there, but yeah. So after everything is sewn up, this is what it'll look like. You have a little pocket there. This is what the elastic looked like sewn in. I put the pull noodle in or, and then I sew the two ends. And this is how it looks when it's all rolled up. elastic on the sides. You take the elastic off, untie it, and you just roll it out and you can put your puzzle together right here. And then when you're done, you just roll it back up and it'll keep all the puzzle pieces together in a nice roll like this. You can just put it in the corner. Uh, let me show you how it looks with actual an actual puzzle. So this is the 500 piece puzzle. And I'm just rolling it up in there. Elastic ends on, and then tie it, and it should keep everything, all the puzzle pieces in there, everything together. You don't have to worry about uh, your cat. And when you're ready to do the puzzle again, you just unroll it like this, and it, it keeps everything fairly in its place. A lot better than the alternative. This is the alternative. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, um, subscribe to Hey Mom, so you can see more videos like this one, and leave a comment if you have any questions or you have any suggestions on crafts. I'm always open. Trust me, my family's always suggesting things to do all the time. Um, <laughs> thank you for staying till the end, and there's gonna be more Dean footage, of course, because there's always Dean footage, uh, if you wanna stay and look at that. 
he thinks that this mat was made for him. It's like a great place to take a bath. Yeah, I, there is nothing I can say. <laughs> All right, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching, Hey Ma. Have a great day. Stay safe. I guess I'm done because I mean seriously seriously I give up it's you it's all you Enjoy. I just made a mat for the cat. Great.